In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly make a histogram using Google Sheets. Uh, so this particular example, I've got some bowling scores of mine. So these are Mr. Rosan's bowling scores over a bunch of different games that I had over the course of a month or two. So it's already sorted, but it doesn't matter. It could be unsorted. You know, the, the values don't really matter. So let's go ahead and highlight all of these things. And we're going to insert a chart. And actually, by default, it gave me a histogram. Uh, if you don't see that right away, um, just go down here. And the histogram is this one right here. It says histogram. So if you click that, it'll give you the histogram, and it's going to suggest different ranges already. So in the example that it's got here, it says, let me just bring this back to the top so I can sort of see what I'm looking at here. So by the default chart, it's saying right now that there are three games that are between 110 and 128, which is correct. That's these three right here. It's then saying that there are four in the next range. So it's it's made these ranges. Now, a lot of this is by default. Uh, my scores definitely are normally distributed because we've got this kind of a bell shape happening here. Um, but maybe I'm not happy with those ranges. We can do a little bit of editing on here to sort of clean it up a bit. If you go under Customize and Histogram, there's this thing that says <clears throat> Bucket Size. Right now it's Auto. We can change it. We can make intervals of 10, for example. And they're all going to be intervals of 10 now, which is really, really nice. And you can also do like uh, outliers if you want. Uh, there's a percentile thing. You can mess around with this if you want. I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Uh, make sure you might have to label uh, the axes. So right here, I'd like it to say frequency or number of games or something like that here. There's nothing on the left, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. So we got a chart title already, but I'm going to put a vertical axis number of games or frequency. The frequency would work as well. Make sure you get a label on the x and the y axis. And uh, yeah, this is this is basically my histogram here. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And again, your customizations are going to be in here. I put it to 10 right now. We could do ranges of 25. Uh, we could do ranges of 50. We could do ranges of two if you want or even one. So these are like the whole values. So how many games did I get for each of those exact scores? So I'll set mine to 10. I like that. Show item dividers. That just puts the lines in the middle so you can see it a bit easier. You don't need, really need that. And uh, yeah, so that's how you make a histogram in Google Sheets very quickly with a bunch of data. And even if it's not sorted or anything like that, it'll still work no problem. Uh, just play with your customizations the way you need to. And uh, yeah. That's it.